My sunglasses are on the way being. Uh, Misha Margiela. We got the leather bag, custom front back. We got the Grinch tee. Vintage. Little, little cut in it. What's good, everyone? Welcome to the video. I want to go show you guys my new shoes, actually. I got these. They represent clothes. Literally my favorite shoes. I already opened these up to like try them on and everything. But like, yeah, these are one of my favorite shoes, guys. Today's gonna be a banger video. We're going to New York City. We're gonna go to Soho today. So, see you guys there. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around Everyone, welcome to the vlog We're in Soho right now, we just got here So I want to talk to you guys real quick So this brand approached me to work with them And like make videos with them And then also make videos on my own channel I think Genuinely, I want to do it. So if I end up doing it, I'll let you guys know further details on that and we could like discuss it more and like talk about it more because it's it's a huge opportunity for me. And honestly, I see myself being able to flourish more in my own videos. I'll let you guys know further details when this deal starts coming to close. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content that I'm going to be making today. Let's go. Just tell me your name. Tell me what you got on. My name is Mickey Freeman. My sunglasses are on the way bay. The way bay, all right. Jewelry is Scaparelli, my wow. bag one is Scaparelli, bag two is Telfar. Telfeezy, all right, all right. My pants are Helmet Lang. Helmet Lang. My boots are Louis Vuitton. Louis. All right. My jacket is a custom piece by USA Raw Skin. That looks crazy. Louis you can see that from a mile away. This That's how crazy it is. Mink and Fox. What about the hat right there? The hat is Moose Knuckle. Moose Knuckle. What got you into fashion? It's in my bloodline. Bloodline. What do you do? I'm a celebrity stylist. Celebrity stylist. I see it, bro. What's it with styling to do with someone? Uh, the only rule is that there are none. Back, back. So, what do you think is your, the number one brand 2023? I'm obsessed with Telfar. I love Romeo Hunt. And uh, I mean, I love Scaparelli. I mean, they're not up and coming, but you know, just can't go wrong with Scaparelli. Super exclusive, and you know. Do you have any tips for anyone who's like creating brands that would make their brand stand out? Look to the younger generation. The young generation are the key to what's next in fashion, and they have a great point of view and perspective. I'm here for the young generation. I love it, man. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you. Nice seeing you. All right, brother. So just tell me your name, tell me what you got on. Okay, um, I'm Katia, and so this is from Easy Miyake. Easy Miyake, all right. Yeah, and this is Dress with Noda. All right, I love it, it looks yeah, amazing. Thank you. What about the jeans and stuff too? Uh, this is from Zara. Zara? Yeah. Those and are Zara? Yeah. Those are crazy. <laughs> and uh, I made this dress by myself. Those shoes, you made yeah. those? Yeah, uh, I just add some like decoration on that. <laughs> Do you have a brand or anything or no? Uh, no. No? You gotta make a brand. Those look really cool. <laughs> Let's see the earrings and, and like jewelry and stuff. So, uh, this is from, from Hearts. And uh, those are just from some Chinese brands. And then the rings? Uh, rings from another Chinese designer. And this is from uh, Mission Margiela. Mission Margiela? Yeah. I see it, I see it. Yeah, and this it is Chanel. It looks really good. <laughs> Chanel bag. What do you buy? Uh, I buy another Izumiyaki. And the other Izumiyaki, the same one. What do you think your favorite brand is right now, too? Uh, for shoes. For just in general. Uh, maybe Prada. Prada. Why Prada? Yeah, cause. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, anything from Prada. Sorry. Anything from Prada, you love yeah. it. Yeah. Also from I, Miu Miu. <laughs> <laughs> Miu Miu too. I hear it. I see a lot of girls wearing Miu. Yeah. Miu. This is really nice. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay. Bro, just let me know your name and tell me what you're wearing. Right now I got on this unreleased sweatsuit. Sweatsuit, Hall of Fame is my brand. Artist, okay, designer. Right. Looks fire, bro. And then the Shit. Uggs too? All right. Nah, the Uggs is just new. I got the Uggs. Sweatsuit. Sweatsuit. Right here, got the leather bag, custom front and back. Art bag. That looks fire. My tag right here, my logo. You, so you painted that, right? That's hand painted, 100% hand painted. On a leather bag. That's crazy. Right here, we got the customs. 
the Air Forces, right? Custom Air Forces, Chrome Heart theme. I've seen a lot of people like do custom things to the Air Forces, but bro, your art, it looks like it's like... You see it, right? Like yeah. it came like this, like out of a factory. Yeah, that ass. Right. It looks and like some... So precise. It looks like, yeah, precision, yeah. Precision, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's crazy, bro. Like a lot of people, they do that and they mess up. And then like you can see the best of it. Like, you right. see with yours, it looks like... It doesn't look this like you like painted years that. years years of hard work and perfection, right? I've been doing this for eight years, so... So, Decision. and then that's your art right there, right? Yeah, we got Nikki and Mini, both in these two sweatsuits that I'm about to drop. You see, got the black and yellow. This is what I got on right now. And Min uh, Mini, she got the gray and the red. So, where can people find you? Y'all can find me at Pole of Fame on Instagram, and at Pole of Fame is my brand page. Anything you might want, paintings, murals, custom shoes, bags, I do it all. So, so people come to you if they want something people done custom? People come to me for everything, and I take care of you. So, what's the hardest thing you ever painted? Hardest thing I've ever painted? Hardest, that's a good question. I gotta think about that, because usually everything is just different. Like, if you paint in a bag, you take a different approach on it. Yeah. Canvases, everything has a different approach, so from murals, everything. So, it really all depends on what I'm actually painting. But the hardest thing, I really don't think nothing is hard, honestly, and I'm not even just saying that. Like I put so much years into my craft, so like anything that I gotta do, any ob obstacle that's presented to me, I'm gonna make it look easy. Mark my words. You go on there, go on my page, you can see everything on my work. Guaranteed. What's Nothing's been ever hard that I had to paint. Everything What's the first thing you painted? Like, first thing I like, painted was a pair of sneakers. Pair 2013 of sneakers. on a pair of Tim's. I think I still got that picture. Wait, I got that picture. It definitely. Did it look like that or no? Nope. I used a Sharpie marker. This was in 2000, and the end of 13 going into 14. I'm about to show you right now. These are the shoes right here. Oh, they so wow. old on a pair of Tim's. It's the first thing I ever done. Also, if you look right here, I got a pair of sneakers I have. Look at that, get the date, 2015. 2015, apes. And this was a custom I did back in 2015. So we approaching, what we about to be at, 2023, almost eight years ago. Those look fire, man. Yeah, man, appreciate It really that. is good. Appreciate you, homie. Thank Yo, you for thank taking you. your time. Yo, anytime, bro. <clears throat> Yo, so y'all. New York has been vibey today, guys. Like, dead ass, like, everyone's been, like, mad and nice. Everyone's been, like, great. I was having trouble, bro. In the beginning with these videos, I was walking up to mad people. And no one wanted to be in the video. Then after a while, everyone's just, like, fucking with them. Everyone's just fucking with it. Everyone's just down. And, like, now we in a scenario where we got hella heads for this video. Like, dead ass, I was mad scared. I was gonna be like, yo, like, I'm not gonna end up with anything today. But I, I obviously did end up being lit. Why is Spain Winfrey? Uh, I got this bomber. It was two bucks. I bought two bucks? it. Two bucks? Thrifted, right? Probably seven years ago. All right, all right. We got the Grinch key. Vintage. Little, little cut in it. We got the Grinch tattoo the other day, too. Grinch? You know, I had to get Spain tatted for my grandpa. <laughs> He's passed away. RIP. We got little Celine jeans. Celine, all right. Yeah, you can see that. Yo, I saw Drake and Little Yachty wearing that the other day. That's crazy. Right. What are those, though? I don't even know what those are. Oh, the way there. That's probably why. Yeah, and then that's a little Marty mask. And I've had these since November, way before everyone started wearing them. But, love. What, what do you like about the Air, Air Max Pros? I can just walk around and black out all the... Yeah, I heard that, bro. I heard it's a different uh, like, experience. I'd be uh, kind of depressed and general <laughs> and shit. And so, like, walk around, anxiety or whatever, when I have these on, yeah. like, I can just fully, like... I love it, man. Submerse into... I love hearing that. Like, that you, you feel better when you, like, listen to yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, music is my everything. Bro. Who's your favorite artist? Uh, favorite artist right now, Big Scar. Big Scar? Who's that? He's a rapper. He's from Memphis. Memphis. I haven't worked with him Is he yet, underground, though. or is he... He's still, he's getting big, yeah, like Scar, EST, my big bro Offset. What do you do? Uh, I'm a photographer, photographer. videographer, director. All right. Uh, what, sometimes. What have you done? Like, I've done some music videos for rappers and whatnot. Music video? All right. Uh, I've done some work for fashion brands. Where, where, where can the people find you? Uh, my Instagram is Wyatt Spain Winfrey. I'm pretty bad at using it, I'm not going to lie. I suck at Instagram because I'm afraid to... You know, you post something on Instagram and anyone can take it so they can copy it and manipulate it. It's a bad thing to have. My agent be telling me to post more and shit, but I got to. But And I got to post my fits, honestly. So it's been it's been a while. I'm about to get back on the Instagram shit, though. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. So just tell me your names and tell me what you got on. My name's Henry Frontini, down in Soho. I'm wearing a CPFM Rolling Stones, I think, 2019 tour. All right, all right. Uh, the jeans my boy left in my house a while ago, they're fire. Shout out your boy. I shout out my boy. 
And then uh, I got the Blundstones, handmade in Tasmania, Australia. Those are crazy. Classic boot. And I Classic. see you got mad jewelry. Tell the people yeah. what the jewelry is. Uh, we got Heather B. Moore jewelry along with Shambhala Jewels. Shambhala. Shambhala Jewels down that in Soho. From? Oh, it's, that's a store? Uh, yeah, based in Copenhagen. But uh, right here, Mercer and Houston. All right. What yeah. about the necklaces and stuff? Necklaces, Shambhala as well. And the glasses? This glasses? Glasses? I don't need, uh, what is it? We got them from right? Yeah, I got them from Hirschleifers on Long Island. All right, all right. Yeah. What are you, boss man? Uh, West Welch. Uh, you see, I'm wearing Lavon. 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 Man right. happy. Uh, Diesel runway, runway, and Lavon. Those Lavon La La fit. Lavon. La yeah. What about the jewelry and stuff? Jewelry, same thing. Um, Shambhala jewels. Shambhala jewels. Everything. Uh, yeah. Most of it, Shambhala jewels, and then, uh, yeah. What Shambhala about the? Jewels. What's on your wrist right there? Uh. Shambhala jewels too as well. I think the watch? <laughs> Rolex. Really oh. on the wrist, right? Yeah. And then the... Uh, sunglasses off white. Off Mar white. Yeah, marble off white. I love it, man. Keeping yeah. it stylish. What's one word you describe your outfit right now? You go Stupendous. First. Stupendous. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> what about you, boss man? Very understated. 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 That's good I too. love it. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Of course, right, man. Thanks. Have a good one. Alright, all right, you too. About to head back for this Halloween party I gotta go to. But like low key, I still don't know what I'm gonna wear. So that was like 50-50, like about things I've been like trying to get, but I don't even know. So bear with me, cause like low key, me going to some shit, you not know, having anything to wear. That's like the worst possible thing to do. But you know, I did this to myself, guys. I don't go out Halloween shopping. I didn't do any of that. I just like stayed at home and like got a last minute, tried to get a last minute costume, so I failed that. But all right guys, so I just woke up and basically yesterday I was a, I don't even know how to explain it. I was like some like random guy with like knife through his neck and like blood on his shirt. I don't even know, like that, <laughs> the type of effort I put into this is very, very bad. I get it, but yeah, I just want to also shout out Paul, bro. Man gave me a few stickers. I never really knew what to do with stickers, so I just put them all on my fridge. Hopefully, we'll be talking about big things coming soon. And see you guys next Friday. See ya. Peace. Go ahead, man. Go first. Me? Yeah. Um, Got a CPFM. Your name first. Your name, bro. What? Your oh, name my name. First, All right, my bro. bad. We'll start over. <laughs> what up?